Let's spend a few minutes looking at solving systems of equations using substitution. This is very closely related to using elimination, but it's a slightly easier way for some problems. First off, let's remind ourselves about what a system is. A system is any set of related equations that measure the same thing. The key to a system is to remember that the x's are the same value in both equations and that the y's are the same value in both equations. In this particular problem, x has to equal 8 and y has to equal 4 for this to be true. Since we know that the x and y in both equations are the same, we know that they are equal to each other in both equations. And this is what we'll use to solve using substitution. We're recognizing that the variables are equal. The first step is to go ahead and solve for a variable. In the first example on the left, you'll notice that the second problem in our system is already solved for a single variable. We have y equals negative 3, so we're already done. In the second example, however, we don't have a single variable. We need to get this to the point where one of these equations says either y equals some value or x equals some value. When deciding, it doesn't matter which variable you choose to solve for. As always, make your life easy and pick the simplest problem. In this case, it should be fairly obvious that the second equation can be very quickly solved by subtracting 5x from both sides and getting y equals negative 5x minus 13. That immediately solves the second equation for y, or in this case, a variable. Now that we've done that, we can move on. Since we know that the y's in both equations are the same value, we can put one value into the other. What this means is that this entire expression here, negative 5x minus 13, can replace this y here because they're equal. So we'll go ahead and plug that in and get 6x plus 6 times negative 5x minus 13 is equal to negative 6. That's all we have to do. We're substituting this expression for this variable because our y's are equal to each other. Now all we have to do is solve. If we continue through this, we'll see that 6x plus 6 times negative 5x minus 13 equals negative 6 can be simplified to 6x minus 30x minus 78, which is equal to negative 6. From here, we'll just keep solving. 6x minus 30x gives us negative 24x minus 78 equals negative 6, and we'll add 78 to both sides to get negative 24x equals positive 72. To finalize, we'll divide both sides by negative 24 and discover that x is equal to negative 3. We can use this answer to find y. So now all we have to do is plug in our value and solve for the missing variable. We know that x is equal to 3, so we need to find y. Since we already have an equation that's set up for y equals, I'm going to use that one. But once again, it doesn't matter which of the equations in the system you use, they will both give you the same answer. So in this case, we'll use y equals negative 5x minus 13. So y is equal to negative 5 times negative 3 minus 13. Negative 5 times negative 3 gives us a positive 15 minus 13. So y has to be equal to 2. We now have two values. And all we have to do is list them as a solution. Since we know that x is equal to negative 3 and y is equal to positive 2, and we know that our solution should look like an xy coordinate pair, 
we know that our final value has to be negative 3, comma, 2. Since we've listed as a solution, we've shown that, once again, we're looking at the intersection of two lines. In this case, our lines intersect at negative 3, positive 2, right there. So remember, the keys to solving a system of equations by substitution is creating this equation right here. You need to solve for any variable. You could have y equals or x equals, but you just have to have that variable by itself. Once we do that, we're plugging it in, in to replace the variable, and then simply solving for the first variable and then the second. And that's all it takes to solve a system of equations using substitution.